Okay, everyone, good afternoon, and welcome back to the Pennyworth channel. I'm your host, Jason, Pure Battle Pennyworth. It is extremely, extremely cold here. Oh, my God, it's raining. Freaking, it's unbelievable. It's raining so bad. Like, my internet goes out, and it's freaking so annoying. Um, but anyways, guys, I am here in spite of all the cold, and um, <clears throat> I'm here to bring you guys, as promised, a, another battle theory for another one of our Pokemon for our new um, uh, How to Battle With series. I'm extremely excited to bring you guys Zoroark. Um, if you guys saw that last little mini episode of me catching the Zoroark, uh, you can see now that I'm going to tell you guys how to use a Zoroark like this. So I want to talk a little bit about this Zoroark that I have. Um, the nature will be modest. This is a giveaway, by the way, before I forget. This is a giveaway. What else do I have to tell you guys? Um, I got an email today uh, about the professor program. Apparently, they, they sent me a, a little thing for a background check. So I guess that, that it sounds like they're going to let me back in. It's weird. You know, like they, they took me out of the professor or just deactivated my um, play Pokemon uh, administration abilities. Got an email this morning, though. Um, I submitted a background check, and they're reviewing it. This usually takes a long-ass time. Nintendo takes their sweet-ass time in in uh reviewing applications and stuff it took them like three months to approve me the first time anyways uh now that's out of the way let's get back into this pokemon man uh zoroark number 571 in the pokedex we caught him on route 101 with the dex nav it only has one ability the ability illusion uh let's highlight this the ability illusion Causes the Pokemon to come out disguised as the Pokemon in the back. I believe it, it comes out disguised as your last Pokemon, which is extremely cool. I believe it's the only Pokemon who can use Illusion. Uh, I think Ditto does something similar. I don't know. But basically, he Zoroark, when you send him out to battle, he will come out disguised as the Pokemon that you have in the very end of your team. So let's say I've got, like, if I'm battling on... Uh, uh, What's that called? Battle Spot, okay. I'm going to have Zoroark in the front, a uh, Garchomp in the middle, and a Ferrothorn in the back. Most people don't want to hit Ferrothorn, or I could have a Ghost, you know. So Zoroark will come out, and it will say the name of, let's say, Gengar, okay. It'll say the name of the Pokemon that you have in the very end of your party, and it'll be disguised that way, and your opponent won't have any way to tell. Um, it'll have the same level, the same name. The same, it'll look exactly, there's no way for your opponent to be able to tell that it's Zoroark when he comes out. The only way that illusion is broken, I guess, the way you break illusion, is to attack the Pokemon. So once you make a contact move with the Pokemon, then the illusion disappears and you have Zoroark again. Zoroark is a dark type, so he is immune to psychic type moves. I haven't tested this. But I assume if someone hits your Zoroark with like a psychic Zen headbutt, I assume it would just say it's not effective or it didn't work and you could keep illusion. Uh, of course, that could be a dead giveaway that it's a Zoroark. So watch out for that, guys. Um, that, well, they're going to find out. If, eventually, your opponent will find out that your uh, Gengar was actually a Zoroark. So what will set Zoroark aside from all the Pokemon in battle is the the uh the element of surprise is that's what you guys want to play on that's how you want to use zoroark but he also has other niches you know once the illusion is broken like um if your last pokemon is a fainted pokemon when zoroark comes out it'll be zoroark so you know if your pokemon faints just try to make sure that there's always someone healthy in the back of your party so zoroark can come out and always have an illusion and you can play with it you can play with your switches there's a lot of things you can do to keep to make sure that your Zoroark has a disguise throughout the entire match. Um, and the element of surprise, guys, is amazing. You know, there's so many times in, in battle. Today, for example, I was battling a Salamence. And I assumed it would go Mega. And I assumed it would use Double Edge. And, you know, it had, of course it had Intimidate. And, and you know, I, I was expecting those kind of things from a Salamence. However... When I went to do Swords Dance with my Scissor, because I knew that it was going to do Outrage, I was going to resist. My Scissor has, ex Mega Scissor has extremely high defense. I invested in defense. Adamant with full defense. 
So I knew that I was going to be able to get at least one in my mind. I knew that I would be able to get one Swords Dance off of a common Salamence. But no, this Salamence surprised me by using Flamethrower. It was a special Salamence. It didn't even go Mega. Needless to say, my Scissor suffered a one-hit KO. I was devastated. Uh, I barely won that match. It was awful. So the elements of surprise could definitely cost you the game. I was going to rage quit right then and there. So this, this is exactly the environment that you want to create for yourself when you're using a Zoroark. You want to have the element of surprise. Uh, I mentioned Gengar. Uh, people are not going to swing at your Gengar with a fighting type move unless they're scrappy. So if your Zoroark comes out and he's weak to fighting moves, they're probably going to switch out into a psychic type. Thinking, hey, I need to kill this Gengar. It's poison type. Let me use his Zen Headbutt on it. They use their Zen Headbutt. They waste their turn. You Flamethrower, Dark Pulse, Focus Blast them to smithereens. It's a beautiful feeling, guys. I've been battling with the Zoroark. I think it's extremely freaking awesome. Let's look at his stats. With a pretty impressive attack stat of 105 and access to Sucker Punch knockoff, you can make Zoroark a physical attacker. He also gets access to Swords Dance, guys. Um, he does have a formidable speed, faster than faster than Garchomp. You can give him an Ice Beam or something like that. Um, faster than is he faster than Gengar? I think they're tied. I'm not sure. Faster than uh, what's his name? Infernape. So he, he's pretty fast. He's pretty fast, and he has Sucker Punch. You can use this to your advantage, guys. And if you and if your opponent's gonna switch, take advantage of that switch. Use your Swords Dance. A stab plus two Sucker Punch off of an Adamant Zoro Arc is not gonna tickle anybody anytime soon. They're not gonna like it or appreciate it. You will either get a one-hit KO or leave a huge dent crippling your opponent's Pokemon with a stab Sucker Punch. So that's one way to use him. Um, let's check out the moves actually. So if you want to go that way, guys. Um, the one that I set up is modest, like I said, but you can just take the one I gave you, six IVs. Um, use a couple of those, um, I think palm egg berry, or one of the berries that drops the special attack, uh, Kelpsy or something, I don't know. The berry that will change the IVs, you can, excuse me, you can modify the EVs, guys, and turn it into a physical Zoro arc because he does have a formidable attack stat. A pathetic HP, defense, and special defense stat, though, so watch out for those one-hit KOs, guys. Focus Sash <clears throat> is also notable if you want your Zoroark to survive a turn or safely set up his Swords Dance, Calm Mind, Nasty Plot, all of which he gets access to, you can give him a Focus Sash. But if you're really tricky, like myself, and you like taking huge risks, then you will probably just set up, uh, predict them to switch, get a free turn of setup, and then proceed to sweep their entire team. If it works, you know, they could use priority moves. Be careful with Mach Punch, guys. Once they find out your Zoroark to Zoroark, watch out for that Mach Punch. You don't have any way to get past Mach Punch except Sucker Punch, which, if you're not faster, it will fail. But since you're probably faster than most Mach Punchers, you'll do some good damage. Um, anyways, the one that I set up for you guys is actually Modest. Um, he also gets, uh, let's see, moves like U-Turn, Home Claws is worthless. You got Night Days, Pursuit. Pursuit's pretty awesome, guys. Consider Pursuit when you're building your Zoroark. Um, nasty Plot. Agility. Foul Play. Also a very formidable move in battle. Um, if you don't know what Foul Play does, Foul Play actually takes your opponent's attack stat. So you could be a special attacking Zoroark like the one that I'm going to give you guys today. You could be a special attacker and have Foul Play on your team and do gargantuan damage. If you know you're faster than your opponent. And... You know that they have massive attack power. If they just did their own Swords Dance and they don't have a priority move, you can do Foul Play and likely murder them. If they did a Swords Dance, you are going to freaking decimate your opponent's Pokemon if you're faster than them. Um, the one that I have has Calm Mind, however. The one I'm giving you guys has Calm Mind. And it's I'm intent. what I'm trying to do is increase my special attack stat and my special defense stat. So, hopefully, in hopes... That I can turn Zoroark not only into a sweeper, but into a physical wall at some point. So when they do figure out, hey, this is a Zoroark, hopefully it'll be too late. And when they pull out their stall Pokemon, I still have a taunt that I can turn to. Uh, so they won't be able to burn me, poison me, paralyze me, you know, stuff like that. They won't be able to use soft-boiled 
Bussy especially will be quite annoying. That's what taunt is for, guys. <clears throat> Anyways, egg moves. Uh, counter, dark pulse is... Um, you can mention dark pulse. The one that I'm giving you guys has extra sensory. Matter of fact, let me let me go straight to that. Let me let me pull this thing out, man. I have it. I have pictures for you guys right over here. I don't even know why I didn't just turn to them to begin with. But let's let's keep your stats. Let's keep your stats there. Go back over here and check out what kind of move. It is extremely cold. What kind of weather are you guys having right now? Drop that in the comments. Like what kind of like it? It's raining super bad here. <clears throat> it's awful. Like. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can hear the rain beating down on my house. It's like, it's unbelievable. And I'm freezing. I'm inside my house. And, like, I have a heater, but it's freaking freezing. I don't know. Anyways, back to what I was saying. This Zoroark, this is a giveaway. The Zoroark that I'm giving you guys today is going to have full special attack investment, full speed investment, and just a little bit of special defense investment. If you do get off the Calm Mind, you can give yourself something like a Citrus Berry. And Thief, Knock Off, something like that. Maybe some Leftovers. Uh, Focus Ash is also notable. You are fast, guys. You are fast. And you will do some pretty good damage on the special side with a base 120 special attack. You're pretty dangerous. with the, And you get Flamethrower. I think you get Ice Beam. You get uh, Grass Knot. You get a lot of really cool access to a lot of really cool moves. Um, the only real downside is that you're not going to get Stab on a lot of them unless they're dark. <clears throat> not a big deal. Um, speed, you outspeed quite a few things, guys, if you don't, if, as long as they're not holding a scarf, you're, like, faster than, I don't know, man, like, 80% of the metagame, and right off the bat, like, you don't have to use agility or nothing, you're just faster. Uh, I know Greninja's faster than you, Manatrike is faster than you, Aerodactyl is faster than you, Crobat is faster than you, so be extremely careful when you are battling those Pokemon, guys. Hidden Power Rock. Could be a good way to go to if you predict them bringing in a, you know, if they have a talent film that's not afraid of taking Dark Pulse, predict a Hidden Power Rock, boom, you just turn Talent Flame into extra crispy chicken. Um, so yes, this EV spread that I'm giving you guys is so you can deal massive damage and the nature. Let me pull out this nature. Oh, whoops, wrong one. There you go. Bam. No, that's not the nature either. I don't even have the nature. <laughs> But the Zoroark I'm giving you guys is Modest Nature. I, try, I checked it, guys, so you guys are good. You guys are good. It is the Modest Nature. Here are the moves I chose. Egg move, extra sensory. Um, whoops. There you go. Egg move, extra sensory. Stab move, snarl. Uh, Night Days, which when it connects, I believe it hits multiple Pokemon on the field. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't remember if it hits everyone or just one target. We'll have to look into that. But when you land Night Days, I believe it has a 30% chance of lowering accuracy. This could make your Zoroark even more dangerous than he already is. Because there's nothing worse than missing an attack, during, a, especially during a double battle. It is devastating when you miss an attack. And you can punish your opponent. You can, you can punish them so bad if you drop their accuracy. So, I'm running one with Night, night Days. Because, you know, I like I like the hacks. I like the hacks. I like the idea of my opponent missing. I like the idea of, you know, just, like, beating the shit out of them and then being helped. It's, it's so, such a good feeling. Such a good feeling. Um, Calm Mind, again. If And you, you have to read your opponent. Guys, this isn't just, like, a copy-paste Pokemon. You're going to have to, like, really think and read into what kind of moves your opponent is going to be using. What kind of team they have. Um, what kind of threats you can anticipate your team running into. And you're going to have to be able to use your Zoroark accordingly. I'm telling you guys how to use it. And I'm telling you guys it's awesome. And I gave it the 6 IVs. But really in battle it's going to come down to you knowing how to predict your opponent. The fighting types that will resist your dark moves. The bug types that will resist your dark moves. That's what Extra Sensory is for. He does get Flamethrower guys. Flamethrower. <sighs> Flamethrower is awesome against Ferrothorn, Scissor, and things of the like. Uh, I could see a Hidden Power Rock moving. I didn't go for Hidden Power Rock, though, because since I have Calm Mind, I saw, I, I, I you know, I think that Calm Mind with Snarl is going to be really awesome, but Flamethrower is a TM anyway, guys. So if you don't like Snarl, take it off. It's also a TM. Take it off. Give him Flamethrower. You'll be in heaven. Calm Mind is a TM. The only move you're really going to need to keep on there 
is extrasensory. If you want to get rid of it, put it back later. Get yourself a heart scale. You will be in heaven. Um, what else is there, man? I'm gonna, this is going to be a pretty quick one, dude, because I'm actually going to do the Mega Pokemon of the Week right after this. Let's look at his stats, guys. With a speed stat, a base of 105, he is outspeeding. I know he outspeeds Infernape. I know he outspeeds Heatran. I know he outspeeds Garchomp. Just be careful for the Scarfs, guys. Be extremely careful for the Scarfs. Because those are going to hurt. Those are going to hurt your Zoroark. Maybe cause you to die. So look out for the Scarf. Watch your opponent's moves. See what kind of moves he's doing. And just make a note of how fast it's... Like, if he has a Garchomp that's faster than your Manectric, you can tell right away this dude's holding his Scarf. You know, so pay attention to stuff like that in battle, guys. It will be super duper important. If it's in Trick Room... And you're noticing that you're faster than his Garchomp. It's holding a scar. So, you know, pay attention, guys. you got to pay really close attention. Because when your Zoroark gets hit, not only will you lose the element of surprise, which is his strongest niche, but you will probably also lose your Zoroark. It will probably go down with one hit to most, to most swooping Pokemon. They will probably beat the shit out of him. So, careful with that. Now, the speed stat is very formidable and awesome. Um, as you can see, the special defense is pathetic. The physical defense is equally pathetic, but actually a little bit worse. <laughs> the HP is bad. This one's like level 85, guys. Uh, the attack is actually pretty good, but this one's modest. So you can see that his attack went down a little bit because of the nature. But his attack power is formidable, guys. If you guys want to run a physical one, no problem. This one has 6 IVs. Go breed it with one. Make it jolly. Make it adamant. Give it Sucker Punch. He gets Sucker Punch. This one has Sucker Punch already as an egg move. And I think you learn it also. You can, go, you can throw knockoff on him. You're going to be in heaven, guys. Zoroark is an extremely fun Pokemon to use. I think you guys are going to love it. Um, I love using it. I, I hate when he dies. That's like, ah, it's the worst freaking feeling in the world when your Pokemon start dying. But um, learn how to use the illusion, guys. Learn. How, just put yourself in your opponent's shoes. You know, like, okay, my opponent has a Charizard, you know. And I want him to think that my Zoroark is a Melodic. So he'll use Grass or something. It's not Stab. You won't die to it. Probably won't die to it. Especially not after a Calm Mind or a Snarl. So, and you're faster than Mega Charizard. Forgot to tell you guys that. You are faster than Mega Charizard. So he's not. He's going to want to hit you with that. You know, think think for your opponent. You know, Put yourself in their shoes and think about what they would be doing. You know? They might predict you to switch. If your Zoroark is disguised as a Melodic, they're like, oh, this was going to switch, so I'll just use Flamethrower. And you don't switch. But you're still faster. Hidden Power Rock, you just popped your Charizard. Anyways, guys, I was extremely happy to bring you guys this video. I'm uploading this immediately. And right after this video, the the today, all day, I'm going to be giving out the Zoroark for free. So all you have to do is jump online, get a Zoroark. If you're not already my friend or a sub, um, you might want to do that. Uh, if you're not interested in, if you're not even interested in this, um, or the series, you don't got to sub, you don't got to do nothing. But if you just want the Zoroark, send me an email. I do answer my emails all the time. My email is down in the description. You can find it down there. Um, this is a giveaway. It's free. Check it out. Battle with it. It's awesome. Send me some battle replay codes, guys. I love, I love, love, love seeing the Pokemon that I made in battle. And they are flawless. You can bring them into tournaments. You can battle with them. They're VGC legal. I don't even know if Smogon has restrictions, but this thing is legal on every platform. You can battle spot with it. You can play online with it. You can do whatever you want with it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this giveaway. I am going to be uploading the Mega Pokemon of the Week right after this. Anyways, drop a like. Share us on social social media. You're so excited, Jason. You're so exciting, Jason. Anyways, guys, I'm so glad you guys checked out the channel. Um, stop by and check out my Poke Dollar video. Uh, stop by the Facebook page for some battles. Um, yeah, man, it's it's cold. It's cold today, guys. Stay warm. Peace.